James, James, it's, it's only five, five chapters. James is one of my very favorite books. And the first chapter of James is, is my very favorite chapter of the, of the book of James. And I'll find it. Well, we're going to turn to chapter three, and it says, I'm really talking about
people from AT&T, but I don't, that, that's how people, how much of this conception of people can get talking about email and heaven and, and getting a message to God through the members. <coughs> you, 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 back in the Old Testament, there was one way. You had a, you'd have to have a high priest, and we studied this, and you had to have a high priest, he would go once a year, and he would go in there and he would present a uh, sacrifice <coughs> for the people. And uh, I told I told them when we were studying this, when, we, when I was a pastor, I told everybody, if I was your high priest, you would be in serious trouble. Because what they did, what they did was they sent that priest in there and they had, he had a rope tied around his leg and they had a bell tied around him. Well, he went in there. And, but if he wasn't right, if he wasn't right with God, then something, something, and that, that bell stopped jingling, guess what? Let's pull him out and send somebody else in there. Because he couldn't come into the presence of God. Sin cannot come into the presence of God. Uh, now, Hebrews, we're studying Hebrews now in Wednesday nights. Which I would advise you if you got if you got some free time on Wednesday, Brother Bill there is an excellent teacher. He knows he knows the Bible upside down, inside out, over and under and through, and and, and I highly recommend him. But it says we have a high priest, and this this high priest he know he knows our hearts. In other words, he, he knows he's he's able. He knows that we're we're weak individuals. He knows that we're not uh, somebody that, you know, that, that we're not, we're susceptible to, to, to sin. We can be tempted. In, in the book of 1 John, he says, these things have I written that you sin not. But if you sin, you have an advocate of the Lord Jesus Christ. So God knew that, that, that and he, he, he provided our, when God provides you with something, it, it's, it's, it's what you need. Now, you don't have to add to it. Or, you know, sometimes Dorothy used to, a long time ago, used to take, she used to fix my, fix my lunch. And uh, then she got this, she got this idea of these Lunchables, which was a, you send bread and you send this pan, you pop it open and there's a ham or tuna or chicken or, or turkey or whatever salad or something, and you make yourself a salad. It's fresh. Excuse me. Fresh and the bread's not, you know, the bread's not soggy and stuff like that, which was a good idea. I got lunch. I got to sit down and I went and she had a can in there. Well, this it wasn't a pop over thing. Took a can over there. So I didn't eat that day. So, you know, sometimes you can't. We make mistakes and sometimes we fall short and, and you're looking at me thinking, oh, well, like you missed any meals for me and you're right. But sometimes we fall short, no matter how much somebody loves us, sometimes they can make mistakes, sometimes they can forget things. But God, when God equips us, he gives us, I think it says, thoroughly furnished or thoroughly equipped, we have everything that we need. When you get up here to, to Testify, or you stand out there and pray, or something like that. You're 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 equipped. You you got you got what you need. Now, if you don't use what you have, that, that's, if you're that that's you know, or if, or if you let the, the, the Satan intimidate you, you can't do that. He, you know, he, you know, I, I finally figured out after, and I'm not I'm not the shortest chisel in the box, I guess you can say. I finally figured out that you can't do this. I finally figured out, you know, you're exactly right. But I know, I know, I know somebody who can. And that somebody is the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And through him, Philippians 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So we got kind of got that point set. But we're going to
Thank you for the word. I don't know what your relationships are with the Lord. I pray that everyone here is Christian. But if you need to get anything right with the Lord, now is the time to do it because we are gathered, you are gathered together with a bunch of friends and family. And uh, we care. And that's the main thing. We are concerned with your eternal welfare. And so you don't need to feel shy. You need to feel like you need to come and have us pray with you or for you or uh, whatever you need. Uh, that's what the invitation is for. So as we stand together and we go to the Lord in prayer and We're going to sing a verse of an invitation to him. I'm next to the kid who was standing here in front of where he's at. And, uh, if you have a need in your heart and your life, we'll come to him. I'll try to lead the singing. Uh, uh, here's my song leader, so I don't have to do that. Let's pray. Father, we pray that uh, if there's one here that needs to uh, make any kind of a move, that this would be the time that they do it because the windows are open, the door is open, and everything is here for them. And we'd ask you, Lord, to move in their hearts. That will be done. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. People turn to him number 317. Yeah. There's room at the cross. Yeah.
pay much attention to me. But today, the Lord is asking you for honor. And, and just like he knew about Adam, he knows about you too. Okay? He knows about people. So I'm not going to try to hide anything from you, but if uh, I'm not asking you to commit to a church or anything like that, I'm asking, what I am asking you, if you need to make a move for the Lord, if you need prayer, if you need just whatever you need, Jesus is the answer. Money's great, bank accounts are great, friends are great, all of that's great. None of, that, none of that replaces Jesus. There's, there's none like Jesus. Okay? And maybe we can sing just a part of one more verse or something. The last course. There's food. Thank you. 